Hey, Deanna and Adam. Hi, Deanna and Adam. It's Deanna Down Under Day. It's September whatever, and the high today is supposed to be 87 degrees and humid. Uh, we are also under an air quality warning because of all of the fires in the west until 8 o'clock today, and we were in one yesterday, too. Head story on the Huffington Post is UK to Trump STFU. And on NPR, St. Anthony Lock to light up with art, river history. They're talking about the Lock and Dam and St. Anthony, Maine, and I think they're doing some sort of art exhibition there. Hmm. I hope you enjoy your video this week. It's filled with all sorts of good information, and we'll see you next week. We are now in the backyard. We will tell you what we're doing here in our backyard food forest. So, we always get confused as to how we compost. But this is what Lindsay makes. It's called the kashi. And it's like sawdust. Well, it is sawdust. It is sawdust, and it's mixed with what? An EM1 inoculant, mm -hmm. which is just basically live bacteria. Then I use a little bit of kelp, fish, fish emulsion, emulsion, some rock dust, and I think there's something else in there. Yeah, but, but this is what we make every fall about this time, mm -hmm. and it lasts us the entire year. And we put, we sprinkle this on all of the food that we put in those buckets. And it's called bokashi composting. Yep. We actually gave one of those buckets this year to mom because she's so impressed with our growing here in the yard. <laughs> so I grow something called comfrey. Oh, yeah, it's this. These are comfrey flowers. Those are comfrey They're flowers. They're little purple ones that hang down, yeah. and the bees just love them. And you grow comfrey a lot because comfrey's leaves are really easily decomposable. You can cut it down and put it around your trees for mulch, natural mulch. But what I found out this year is you can do that, but you can also dry out comfrey leaves. This is what I'm doing here. And they get real, like, crispy. And you spit them up. In, in a, a blender. In a blender to make a powder. And you can use that as um, a fertilizer. The third thing that we do is our apples are almost ready. Mm-hmm. Our honey crisp apples. So you'll see that some of them are here that fell on the ground. And we wrapped them in nylon footies this year mm -hmm. because our apples had apple fly maggots. It's very common for apple trees. You can actually see people having wrapped their apples in different things when you walk around the neighborhood. So we have made apple crisp and apple danish and it's very delicious. I'm going to make some apple sauce um, when it is not so bleeping hot outside. Um, so the tree in question right now is this one back here. You can see it. It's got tons of trees. We put... It's got Lindsay tons of apples. A box of, yes, tons of apples. Lindsay bought a box of 144 of these, and we used all of them. Like well, it. it's not really gardening. What is it? It's your lesson in... It's like in permaculture, homesteady type your stuff. Your lesson in permaculture today. I'm actually taking my comfrey, and I'm going to bind it up and hang it because it's going to rain. Shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs>